Hi guys and girls, uh, welcome back. I have another little video installment for you. This time we're gonna take a look at the scene, scenes, the scenes page. I hope you like it, hope you enjoy it, stay safe and uh, you look it. I would appreciate if you would uh, comment, like and uh, hit the abonnieren button as we say in Germany. Have fun, bye bye. <clears throat> Okay, scenes. So let's talk about scenes, how to save them, how to rename them, how to delete them, and so on. Um, first of all, uh, I've got a scene where you can see my name, Andre Local 1 is the input, and uh, I make some changes, maybe, uh, let's say, oh, I want a really nice uh, um, low cut, and yes, that looks pretty reasonable, and I'm gonna wanna. I'm gonna wanna. I want to save that, so I hit the scenes button. This brings me to the scenes uh, page. So I can do what is written on the label. I can say go, but then all my changes will be lost. So first of all, I will store it. It's very easy. Hit the store button. There will be a confirmation pop-up menu, and it's gonna ask me, "Do you really want to override that scene?" I said, "Yes, I want to." So now it's saved. Um, the, the next thing is I can say, oh, I want to go to another scene. This is easy as well. I'll take uh, SQ scene, SQ scenes, scene number eight, and say go. There will be the confirmation window again. I say yes. There's the other, and let's check. Oh yeah, you see my my low cut is gone. Okay, um, let's go back to scenes. And I want to rename that. This is very easy. On the top layer button, there's a pen. Hit the pen and uh, you can delete uh, and yeah, type in a new name. Let's say this is um, S, oh, sorry, <laughs> from Germany, you know. SQ, uh, got, uh, what name? Let's say Keith, that name that pops up into my mind. So. Now the scene is called SQ Got Keith. It should name it should be Keith Got SQ. Um, anyway, um, so um, we talked about renaming. We talked about uh, recalling a scene and storing. There you can delete the scene. This is easy as well. Go to a scene and let's okay. Scene number two, delete. Yes, okay, and it's gone. So um, deleting and um, uh, can be done with another button as well, as well as copying and pasting. You see, there is no option here on the screen to copy and paste, but we have the copy and paste buttons on our left hand side. Um, copy, paste, reset. And if I go to SQ Guard Keith, hold the copy button down and say, Yes, I want to. It says, Copy scene 8. Okay. And if I want to insert it, I say paste. It's asking me paste. Yes, I say okay, paste that one. Oh no. I want to paste it there. And see, it's there. So we got two times uh, SQ got Keith. Okay. So I, what I want to do now is uh, talk about with you about the recall filter. Recall. Um, is a recall filter is something that is active when you go again to a scene. So let's say we take um, SQ Guard Keith number eight and we hit the recall filter and say, okay, let's let's keep the processing. It is blocked now. Okay. Now you can see there's a little indicator my filter, uh, recall filter indicator. If I get to another scene, let's go back to Keith here and we say go, yes. And um, if I now change something, uh, oh no, sorry. Uh, if uh, now there's another scene that this is, okay, I should go to a completely different scene. So let's imagine I'm on scene number 10, completely different everything, new scribble strip, new EQs and everything um, that is loaded in scene number 10. If I now go to scene number 8 again, 
everything is loaded from scene number eight, but the things we saved oh, uh, here, the processing, will not be loaded from that scene number eight, but it is it, it, it's still it will be still on the scene we are coming from. So if Putensen Greifswul has a low cut filter not applied on uh, channel number one, and I go back to Keith where I had the uh, the, the low uh, cut uh, right around I don't know one k or so, um, it will take the low cut from scene number ten. So the recall filter is when you come back to a scene, it will not load something. It will not load the parameters you have blocked. I hope that made sense for you to you. Um, as always, if you've got questions, write it down in the comment section. Okay. Um, very nice button is the reset mix buttons. If you want to have a, a blank canvas, a, a really shiny new SQ board, at least for that scene, you can go to reset settings. This will take you to the setup screen. And as you can see, mix a config to the role screen. And we want to have our uh, board to be a standard mixer. It will reset as it's written there uh, for the mono, for the for stereo inputs uh, and so on and so forth. And if I hit reset and say, yes, my board is resetted. Okay. So that means I've got a really, it's not Andre anymore. It is input one, input two, input three, input four. And as if the scene is brand new. The good thing now is that if we go back, um, that scene, and um, it is not, it is not overwriting our scene we had before. So resetting means it resets all mix parameters, but it's not erasing or deleting the scene I'm coming from. So I can save that now to another one, and uh, let's say here, uh, do the funny renaming, and puh. Empty. Empty. It's empty now. Okay. And now I've got an empty scene. It's always handy to have one. But as I said, you don't need it because you can always reset all mix settings. Okay. So, um, three things can be blocked or saved. The first thing uh, was the recall filter. That's uh, very handy if you come back to a scene and don't want certain things to be recalled. The next one is global filters and they are, as they had said, they are global. So they block, they are, uh, they always override any scene filters. So means if you've got a scene where you save, uh, uh, didn't save something or save something, uh, when you go to global filters, it will override that command. Here you can change parameters not channels. On saves, you can save the things on certain channels. This is the difference, okay? So if I want my channel to one to be the same throughout all scenes, I hit save, save, number two, number three. Oh, I, I can't hit the buttons. So let's say our first, first four are now saved uh, and no matter to what scene you go, they will stay safe, okay? So let me think if, if that's everything. Oh, so when you want to save something else than inputs, maybe the effects buses or the mix buses, you see is right on the top there. And same goes for global filters. There is those ones. The little dots next to the um, uh, words input, mix and others are there to indicate that something is blocked. So if I go to others, have blocked tie lines, for example, you s I can see there, oh, something in others is blocked. Check, okay, it is the time, and I leave it or I change it however I want. Okay, I think that, that covers it. You can rename, you can uh, call, recall the scene, you can store, you can delete, uh, you can set the recall filters that save something if you come back to that scene where the recall filter is on, and you can reset the mix settings, meaning you really zero out the board for, but not uh, global just in that scene. So it's not a hard reset and the board is completely new or something. It's just you have an empty scene, basically. Um, global filters will block uh, parameters on a, on a global um, filter and will override any scene filter. And uh, 
Okay, why should you do that? Well, maybe you say my my uh, soft buttons should stay the same throughout. So you say, okay, control, because I want always to have a tap button. I want always to have a mute for the effects returns. I always want the scene previous, scene next, scene go buttons always to be there. Just save it under the global filters and this is blocked uh, for all times. Okay, and uh, the saves are there to block something in the channel. So if you, oh, that's the, the completely wrong button, saves, um, you can see, you can save something in a channel. Okay, I hope you, you find this uh, informative and not too confusing. I uh, apologize, my English, I'm from Germany, so sometimes uh, I speak a little hard, because I, I've learned that way to speak hard. And yeah, 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 as you know. Okay. Um, have fun with this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and um, hope to see you in the next installment of What About Elnett Heath? Bye-bye.